today we will see how to run any r script using docker for this purpose the steps are first you need to make sure that the docker has been installed on your system second you need to execute this command docker pull rbase this will fetch rbase image from docker central repository once you have this rbase image in your local docker repository you can execute any of these three commands to run any r script using docker over here this percent cd percent uh, so the cd stands for current working directory for windows it is percent cd percent but for linux it is dollar parenthesis pwd parenthesis this first command will land you in r terminal or r console this second command will land you in linux terminal or bash shell this third command will run this r base bash shell in the background in the detached mode let's see these three commands very quickly over here the first command which will land you in the r terminal or r console is this so over here docker run ti stands for interactive dash dash rm means remove once we have closed the container that container will be removed automatically dash v stands for volume mounting or directory mounting so over here we are mounting this present working directory that is this documents repository r script this is the present working directory and we are mounting this present working directory to this home docker repository of docker container then this dash w means working directory so by default the working directory will be home docker of that docker container dash u stands for user so we are using it with docker user but it's fine if you don't want to provide this particular option and this r dash base means this is the image name and you can see that that r terminal r console has started so now if i execute this command source hello world dot r over here this error is due to this double quotes so i need to change this double quote something like this and enter and you can see that i am able to execute the r script over here i will change the name and you can see that i am able to execute any script which is available in that particular directory and i will press ctrl b to exit from this docker container i will say no enter and right now i am in my host environment earlier i was in the docker container environment now in the next command it will land us in the bash shell another thing instead of this dollar parenthesis pwd you can also provide the absolute path as well bash will land us in the bash shell now i am in the bash shell so you can see that when i say ls it will provide me all the scripts available in this current working directory so this current working directory of this docker container has been mapped with this working directory of the host again i will execute this command r script hello world dot r i will paste it over here and enter and you can see i am able to execute the script this is the third command so in this third command the difference is instead of dash ti we are using dash dti d stands for detached mode in the background dash dash name r demo so instead of putting it on docker to provide some random container name over here we are providing the container name as our demo and you can see that this is the container id and if we see sudo docker ps dash a so you can see that this docker having this particular container id and this particular name is being run in the background mode in the detached mode so now i can use this command to execute any r script copy over here i will paste it r demo is the container name r script is the command and hello world dot r that is the script that i want to execute and press enter so hello world dot r over here make sure that uh, using this dash v we have mounted host directory to this container directory so there if there is any other file which is not in their particular working directory then it won't be able to execute that particular file now uh, once this done uh, if you want to stop this particular docker you can execute this command sudo docker stop r demo it will stop the r demo container okay and now if you want to remove this you can just execute this command sudo docker remove r demo so r demo is the container name and it will remove that container 
Also make a note that once you have removed the container, all the changes will be lost if you are not using volume mapping or directory mapping. That's it for the day. Thank you for watching this video.